So I know for some of you, space is an issue and I, and I absolutely get that because I remember when I first started painting, I was living in my parents' house and I remember painting in my mum's utility room and I, I used to paint quite big so I would literally get the ironing board out and lay it over the ironing board and paint. Um, then I moved house and then I had a really small space until I built the studio. Um, again, I had to work in quite a small area then I moved to this house again. I had to work in a small area until the um, until my studio was built. So now I am lucky. Yes, I do have this studio, and I do teach in here uh, on a weekly basis. So I, I really do understand the the difficulties with having a small area um, and having your materials to hand. So I thought I'd just share with you these trolleys. I'm going to try and find some links for you. Um, so that you can have a look if you want to to get them but they are fantastic because you can literally wheel them around um, you can fit all your materials in there then you can get little bits that sort of hang on the side to put all your brushes on um, and then I in here I've put a box so I've literally put all my paints and, and bits and pieces and then down here I've got my boards um, and I've got my palettes uh, so everything is really sort of to hand um, obviously I've got loads of material scattered all about but the majority of what I use is in here um, and this is really really a great thing so there's a couple of things that you might need to get in addition um, I would recommend if you haven't got a dining room table that you can work at if you have then you obviously don't need this but if you haven't then a fold away table is quite useful because you could put your fold away table um, next to your paints. An easel, I always recommend working from an easel. Uh, tabletop easels, absolutely fine. Just make sure that you can try and get it at eye level so if you've got something you can prop it up. Um, and then what I can do is I can just take out my tall paints or just lay them down carefully. Um, I've got my pot of water so I can put put that there and then I've just got an extra piece of MDF board that I've had cut from my local DIY shop uh, and then I can just literally pop that on there I can grab my palettes and put my palettes out and I've got my board so I can put my board on and then I can grab a chair and sit down if I want. I've got my brushes here so I can grab my brushes. Um, my paints are underneath um, but I can obviously take those out um, beforehand and then I've got everything set up. So it's all to hand and then I can just literally pack it all away. It's so simple. Just pack it all away and then you're you're done. The hardest thing it, when you're starting to paint is actually just getting everything out. I put that in there but it's got water in. Is, is having materials over there and in that box over there and getting them and having to pack them all away. But if you've got a trolley or something that you can just literally put it all in and unfold it, um, what you don't want is something where, you where you've got materials buried really deep and you have to dig through and um, that can be a bit frustrating but if you just work with a small amount of materials and you've got everything there it's so easy and then you can literally just pack it all away and just pack it all away and pop it somewhere so I've got my board, I've got my easel and I've got my little fold away table and there, it really doesn't take up any room at all. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts on that or um, what kind of spaces you're working with. I'd be interested to know as well. So hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you soon.